let's see on the driver's side they just have the mirror here they get that shot in there it is not lit um this is a compartment for holding your um, eyeglasses shades and here you have another control in the head overhead to open doors this is the um, the driver's passenger door the rear lift gate the passenger rear door and on and off to lock that and just press that like that and it closes opens back up have some interior lights as you can see um, like I said I did not uh, pair my phone um, this is the radio I turn that down YouTube will block my video um, media there's um, no media in here I took everything out these are the direction this controls the the front if you turn on the this is the fan that controls the entire car um, fans so if you turn this on you can direct which way you want the air or the heat to go and when you turn this on then they have access in the back to use their controls and you can turn their fans up or down they can also do it in the back it says rear controls and then you have the rear defroster front defroster traction control and like I said before um, there's a okay push down then move it oh those are the hazardous And if you want to save gas or switch to economy mode, push that button. Never used it. Okay. Let's turn this down one more notch and turn it on low heat. And here you can see that the vehicle does 120. Get back, cat. <laughs> A little fat cell. Neighbor's cat. <laughs> I don't know which neighbor it is. <laughs> he belongs to. There's the RPM. And here you have the fuel economy vehicle speed trim trip info vehicle info the miles and I'm wondering how do you switch that and on on the back here you have some controls on the back of the steering wheel on each each side in the front you have your cruise control and let's see there we go if i press this button it goes into the menu up down and hit back let's see we're going to go to vehicle speed back then go down trip info Thirty-seven hours. Back. See vehicle info. Coolant temperature. And it has something going down. So oil. Oil pressure. Engine hours. 
Okay, now it's telling me to go back up. I'm going to go back. I think I'll put it on vehicle speed and leave it there. Okay, and the shifter, it's here. Right next to the steering wheel. Like I said, I would highly recommend if someone has a small business um, and they need uh, a vehicle for chauffeuring people and they also need uh, a vehicle to put their products in um, they need their computer portable uh, laptop um, portable printer um, I would recommend this because these seats let down and I'm sure this one these two the second row go down into the floor because there's a space there um, and there's a latch in the front but I'll ask them when I get to the um, dealership but I rather enjoyed it alrighty um, please like um, if you have any questions comments or suggestions I'm open to suggestions because most of the time um, I don't have time to do the, the um, video reviews of the vehicles but I try to do them as much as possible um, I guess I need to take the YouTube class to um, really uh, get into the swing of this I have other things that I'm that I'm doing also that opens another compartment which is neat so thank you for watching